Welcome to the official Monster Hobbies YouTube channel. My name is Trevor Ruslescu, owner of Monster Hobbies Online, and today we're going to be looking at AMT Ertl's 1995 Corvette ZR1 kit. This is a lean, green, mean machine, and I'm sure you don't want to miss it. Do you like model car building channels, unboxing videos, as well as tips and techs, and show and tells, and building? Well, if so, stay tuned to the end and I will tell you all about the Monster Hobbies model car garage. So without further ado, let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. The summer is magic. It's magic. Oh, oh, oh. The summer is magic. Hey, Generation X, where were you in 1995? Well, if you were one of the lucky ones, you owned an actual 1995 Corvette ZR1. Well, here we've got AMT Ertl's great kit. This is a skill level two kit for ages 10 and up and is the Corvette 50th anniversary edition. On this side of the box, we have those amazing photos showing the history of our Corvette through the cars. And then here we've got a nice picture of our interior, our engine and the side profile of the car. This is a skill level two kit for ages 10 and up, requires glue and paint. And if we flip the box over to the B side, we can see this wonderful three quarter front view of our 1995 Corvette ZR1. So now let's open up the lid on our great Corvette model kit as we check out the contents inside. So here we have another nice flyer from the 50th anniversary. We've got our instruction sheet and inside we've got our decals, which Danny the dog will go over both of those. Here's a nice bag containing clear plastic parts. We also have our Corvette body right here. And there's the chassis and the rest of our gray components. And right in there, we've got our chrome. And there's our windshield and back glass as well. This is that amazing Lotus motor from Corvette. And then we've got our tires right here. Take it away, Danny. We hope you're enjoying this video so far, our nice little look at the model car collection. And if you're looking for a great channel which showcases model cars, also talks about new releases and it has unboxing videos, as well as tip and tech videos, if that's right up your alley, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family. So now let's carry on with our great model car expose. Hello everybody, here's your dog on the street, Danny the dog, to show you the wonderful instructions for our 1994 Corvette ZR1 model kit. So Trevor, if you can put that stick in my mouth, and then what we'll do is we'll use the dub over mic, and I'll show everybody what the instructions look like. Okay Danny, here you go. Hmm, thank you. Okay, here we go again. So we've got our instruction sheet with this wonderful three-quarter rear end sketch in here. Looks really awesome. It says that Trevor bought this on June 7, 2003 at Walmart for the amazing price of $4.95. Now right here it says, if other sports cars could be contenders for King of the Hill, the Corvette ZR1 should be considered as King of the Mountain. So again it says that it's got the Lotus designed engine and all that other cool stuff. So Trevor will write this down in the comment section below if you want to read it. And then we've got our important before you begin stuff down here, as well as some of the little things we will be using, like our tools and whatnot, to get the job done. Here we begin with step one, and again we've got that wonderful huge serpentine belt with the alternator in the air conditioning unit and our power steering pump all gluing onto the back of the pulleys. Then we have a decal which goes on top of the alternator. Now here's our engine block being glued together. This is a chrome engine block, and if you want help in learning how to put that together, check out this cool video of this chrome engine that Trevor did. It's from a 1960s Thunderbird. Okay, so we have our left and right hand side engine block being glued together, the water pump timing chain going on, the oil pan, our starter and our valley cover being glued in place, and then our left and right hand side cylinder heads. We carry on our engine build by putting on the bell housing and our left and right hand six speed transmission and that all glues together to our block. Then we've got our cam cover going on as well as the ignition module, the inlet plenum and our oil filter and oil filler cap. And here we see our coolant crossover pipe being glued in place and then the entire belt drive assembly goes on the front of the engine and we've got our two piece left and right hand side exhaust manifolds 
which glue on there and you got to build another one for the other side. And here we have our chassis assembly. So we've got our chassis pan and then the front suspension glues up from underneath. Next up we've got the back end with our differential here and rear axle. The drive shaft glues into the front of the differential and then we've got our leaf spring differential mount which glues to the back and our control arms which glue onto the ends of our differential and then all of that gets dropped into place and you glue on your control rod as well. Then here we have our chassis assembly with our engine being glued in place here at the front and the back of the transmission hooking up to our drive shaft. And then we've got a little inlet duct and here on our radio radiator we have the actual intake molded in place and then the back of the radiator gets glued in and we've got our upper radiator hose and our lower radiator hose being put into the two holes at the top and bottom of the back of the radiator. Here we've got our muffler and exhaust system being glued together and pushed up underneath. We've got a torque arm which glues on the side of the drive shaft and then a front brace with the oil cooler which gets glued up here and then finally our spare tire carrier gets hooked onto the back. Now here we see our rear assembly panel. This is basically the same for all of our wheels and tires. You have your outer wheel that's chrome which goes into the tire. Make sure you check the direction on here. There's little arrows on the side of the tire telling you which way it goes. Then we've got a disc brake retainer clip here which goes into our inner wheel. And if we just move our instructions down, you'll see that it's the same for the front and the back. You just gotta always keep in mind that rotation of the tire tread. In panel four, we see our chassis and wheel assembly. We wanna put a little bit of glue on here and then carefully press the wheels on in place right on our axle pins. And then here we have decal five going on the side of the radiator and that'll help dress it up under the hood. Step five shows our interior assembly. Here again, we get the wonderful dashboard. This time around, we also have the airbag in place. Then we get our steering wheel going in there and our rear seats or our front bucket seats, pardon me, going in place. And then our gear shift lever with the boot dropping into our center console. Now in step six, we begin our body assembly. In here, we can see that we need to prepare our windshield and rear window by removing these little straps in between the two and cleaning up on the edges. Here we've got a license plate decal which drops into place in the back. And then if we flip our body upside down, we can put in our rear brake lights. Now this is kind of odd that they do that. So remember to paint your body first before putting on the license plate. Now here we have the engine bay assembly and we can see our air conditioning unit and a, the uh, heater here all going together. And there's the recovery tank up top. And then we've got our battery here and a decal going in place as well as a master cylinder. Our next panel shows our body and interior assembly. So here we have our windows going in place, the rear view mirror, our interior assembly being popped up from the bottom. And then we've got our turn signals, which will glue into place in the front bumper and a windshield washer reservoir gluing up here. We also have some more underhood decals, which will make this thing look really, really cool. Up here, we see underneath the hood. And again, you have to put in those clips for the hinges and then your inner wheel fenders. And up here, we also have our headlamps being glued into place. This panel shows our body assembly being put together. Now you do have these little clips which clip into the assembled hood. So you must maneuver the front in first so you don't break those off and then slide the body down like a hinge and move it around a little bit until it all locates. And then you would put your hood onto the pins and then glue on the nose panel. Now here in this panel, we see some additional final assemblies. We've got the computer box being glued in place, the ASR module and our AC line dryer all going up under the hood. Our detailed painting step comes in figure 23 and here we can see that it says to paint the high mount center brake light in red and checkerboard pattern and some red into our Corvette emblem here and you can paint your Corvette lettering in black with a white turn signal down here there's your rear view mirror and here is decal number 9 and 10 and we also have a license plate decal going into the back. Thank you for watching this video up to this point. It really means a lot to us. And if you're enjoying these great model cars, 
we want to offer you a special promo code where you can save a little bit off your next purchase at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Just enter the promo code YouTube so that we know that you watched this video on this channel and then got interested enough in our model cars to maybe pick up a few. So that promo code once again is YouTube over at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Thank you, Danny, for looking over those instructions. So now I'm going to show you the plastic components. And you are up for a bit of a sanding challenge as you build this model. For here, we've got our wonderful looking body from AMT. And right along here, you can see some really intense mold marks and flash. So let's just bring this up into the camera and have a look. See, look at that. That's like an actual step right in there. <laughs> Pretty scary. There's our Corvette emblem and that rear brake light up top and then the back end. And again, you can see just how much that seam line is coming up and over. This should all be smooth and round in here. So you will need some sandpaper tricks. Now up the side, we've also got these little vents in here, as well as our side marker lights, which are pretty neat. And then the Corvette emblem in the front of that nose piece with our wraparound front parking and turn signal levers, or sorry, lenses. There you got the Corvette lettering in here, as well as the back. And it does not have any raised lettering on the license plate. So again, that saves you the step of scraping that down. There are some mold marks up here underneath and in the front, which you will have to get rid of with that number 16 hobby blade. Also into the roof. The sun visors are molded in here. So again, a bit of a painting trick. But overall, you should have a nice model once it's all cleaned up. Here's our parts tree containing our dashboard, and it does have a little cutout for the airbag. So that's nice that AMT updated that, as well as our hood hinges, our nose cover, and our actual hood. So again, bringing this up to the camera, you can see the wonderful detail of the Corvette logo, as well as all the gauges on that instrument panel, which was quite a nice digital piece back in the day. Underneath, we have the hood, and here you can see all the nice detail and texture in here. There's where you're going to be putting your inner fender aprons and the hood hinges and all the rest. Again, really, really nice. Doesn't look like there's too many deep mold marks in here. A couple there and there and in the back. But overall, this is a really nicely done part. Here we've got the parts tree that makes up our interior components. We do get a different set of seats from the convertible edition as well as our nice steering wheel and the gear shift lever and our interior bucket. Some mold marks off the back here, which you could clean up just to make sure everything fits nice, nice and snug. Look at the upholstery pattern on those seats. Quite a bit simplistic compared to the other Corvette convertible. Again, you get a nice interior bucket here, really crisp molding on there, especially on the door handles on the sides, which look accurate. Again, a few mold marks here and here and into the carpet, but overall should be easy to clean up and look really, really great. Here's our chassis pan, which is a little bit different from the one in the convertible kit. Here you can see brake lines going up along the sides, as well as the nice texture in here and the manufacturer's name underneath. Again, really nicely done. This chassis goes all the way back to the early 84, 86 Corvette kits, but it has held up over time. A couple of mold marks up on the inside here, which you want to scrape down, but overall will work nicely. And speaking of suspension components, here we have our drive shaft, our front axle, and the components to make up our back end and differential, as well as our wheel backs and these nice caliper style wheel retainers. So let's just move this down a little bit. Take a look at this in the camera. Look at how nice that detail is. Rack and pinion steering again. Really excellent work on that lattice. And then again, really excellent stuff. Moving this off to the side, we can see those nice calipers, which you'll be able to see right through the wheel backs, at the front of the wheel anyway. Again, nice overall. And uh, what can you say about this except that it is excellent? Here we have a much smaller parts tree. This has all our little under hood details as well as the front brace. 
and our line for the air conditioner and the brace that goes along the side of the drive shaft. So again, some really nice detailing in here on the components. Up underneath, maybe a few mold marks you might want to take care of. But overall, again, a really, really excellent parts tree. On this parts tree, we have the radiator and our spare tire carrier, as well as the exhaust pipes and mufflers, and then a whole bunch of our engine components. And again, these all look really excellent. The molding is crisp, the detail is high, and really nice. Look at that master cylinder there. <laughs> There's the uh, front of the intake for the plenum molded onto that radiator. Turning it over, you can see the wonderful fans on here. Are you a fan of the fans? Let us know in the comments down below. And again, really, really excellent detail work. So here we have the chrome components that make up the wonderful engine. This is that Lotus motor again. Take a look at the wonderful engine block and the covers. Really excellent looking stuff. And there we also have our chrome plated wheels. So again, really excellent work by AMT in bringing us this wonderful chrome plated engine. Here we have our clear components, which include the back glass and the front windshield. And remember to remove these little runners in here and to just sand it down along the edge to make it nice and smooth. There we've got our nice rectangular style rear tail lamps, as well as our side marker lights. And it does say to paint some of these with the smoke color. So always check to make sure what a real Corvette looks like in order to duplicate it on your shelf. One nice thing about the windows is it does have the defroster lines molded in place. So again, really excellent work by AMT. Here we've got our wonderful Goodyear Eagle tires. Now these ones are directional, so look for the little arrows along the side. You've got the raised lettering in here, which is really wonderful to paint up and very easy. You also have lower profile tires for the front and wider ones in the back. You can easily see that by just doing this, just to see you've got a little bit wider in the back. Also, the tread pattern is nice and directional. So make sure that you line it up so that all that is pointing forward. And here we've got our decal sheet for the 1995 Corvette ZR1. And this time around, we do have some pretty nice license plates. We have a Kentucky winner, which makes me think of the Kentucky Derby. And then we've also got our 50th anniversary license plate for Corvette and a Corvette Fever magazine license plate right there. Check out these white and silver stripes. Those look really, really nice. There's the ZR1 decals for the side of our car, as well as all the underhood pinnings and little decals just to help us in that engine bay. I hope you guys are enjoying the dog days of summer and hope that you have a good back to school season. Thank you very much for sticking to the end of this great Monster Hobbies model car unboxing video. So earlier on, I was talking about the Monster Hobbies model car garage. That's a channel where we do tips and techs, unboxing videos that are not on this channel, as well as show and tell of both my model cars and my dad's model cars, which is really, really cool. And I, I even build some model cars on there to help you in your journey of becoming a better Monster Hobbies model car garage mechanic and model builder. So if you're interested in that kind of channel, if that rings your bell for you or whatever, check out this video up here. It talks all about it. And if you want to just go there, click on this link down below and you'll be magically teleported right over to the Monster Hobbies model car garage. So until next time, everybody, happy model building and we'll see you in the next video.